Hello, foodies. Do you know what day it is? I've been posting a lot. It is National Avocado Day. Avocado Day! Yay! So, I happen to love avocados. And I used to be afraid of them because back in the day, there was this whole, oh, don't have any fat, don't have any fat. Hey, Gail, hey, Sharon. <laughs> but avocados are the good fat. Hey, Donna. And I'm going to show you how to make a simple, simple, easy peasy avocado recipe. Hey, Joy. I'm coming from a different angle this time, and I hope I can read when you're watching. <laughs> Love ya! Thank you for joining this. So, Johnny Angel, I'm making guacamole. Simple guacamole. Johnny Angel does not like avocados. So, I just want to hear from you. Do you like avocados? Uh, uh, uh. You've had a hard time finding ripe avocados. Well, this one is super ripe. And this recipe uh, that I found through um, Pepper Chef, it calls for two avocados, but Johnny Angel doesn't like it. So I'm, I'm making a little teeny tiny little bit of avocado, uh, guacamole. And if you are not in my VIP group. Yay, Joy, I'm glad you like it. Spicy Life Society with Annette Daly. You need to come on over. I've already shared, hey, Janie, I already shared some tips about how to choose the right avocado for the job. Hey, Dad, her conscience is in the house. Okay. I can never remember, and I know I should do better research, if, and um, if you can't see me down here because of the comments, you can swipe. Uh, I want to see your comments. So, we're going we're gonna to just do it easy peasy. Hey, Kelly, easy peasy. Different angle. I'm a little confused. It's storming here at the river and we're cooking from the camper. National Avocado Day. Mm, I love avocados. My mom doesn't like it. Huck Hutchins, I think he likes it. <laughs> he likes it. They need to be able to put a fingerprint in them. Yes. Oh, Lord. This one's super ripe. Super ripe. I hope it's not too right. One, this will be embarrassing if it's too right. It wouldn't be the first time I've embarrassed myself on a live cooking show. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. So here's what we're going to do. First things first. Oh, look. So here's the first embarrassing thing. <laughs> Um, my cilantro is very wimpy. Hey, Candace. <laughs> ah. Oh, look at you, Dad. Pull them off your tree. So, yeah. So, you can still make good food when it's fresh. And they, I know this is a little wimpy. Typically, I will use this little veggie stripper. <laughs> it's not that fresh as you can see but it's it still tastes good <laughs> so if your cilantro is fresh veggie stripper, stripper works great but since it's not fresh look it's easy to pull it off I love cilantro actually that one tastes a little soapy I do hear people say, I don't like cilantro. So comment and tell me if you like cilantro. Some people say they 
hate it. It tastes like soup. I love it. So I can tell you, if it's wilty, if it's a little old, it tastes a little soapy. I hope it's not going to, um, it won't affect the recipe. Because I'm only one eating it anyways. Jenny won't like it. Okay, starting the show. Manual food processor. How many times have you seen me use this on Taco Tuesday live show? It is the bomb. Just saying. Okay. I also love it too, you guys. So, um, you after you make your food, you take this out. Hey, Jennifer. It comes with a lid so you can store it in here. But I have this new cool tool that I want to share with you this evening. That if you're going to a a party and it's a um, a potluck, a cookout, something that is so great to use to keep your guacamole yummo yummo. All right, let's see. Here we go. So I already have the little spinner in here. I'm gonna put my wheel tea cilantro. It's a little old been traveling back and forth <clears throat> to a couple of different places <clears throat> excuse me um one clove of garlic depending on how much you love garlic love garlic and I, I have I am going I like to use up what I have in the refrigerator I hate wasting food I hate it this uh, one of the recipes it calls for um, green onions. I mean, you can Google it all over Pinterest. It's all kinds of recipes. Red onion. I happen to have, and it's only one avocado. So um, I'm only doing. I'm using a little uh, shallot. A shallot is. Hey, Joanne. Um, it's a less oniony that's a word a less oniony flavor so I'm it looks like a red onion but it's a little shallot happy margaritas Joanne I love all your margarita posts shallot shallot okay I am not gonna use this whole jalapeno here's Here's the thing. If you don't want it to be too hot, hey Michelle, take out the membrane membranes and the seeds. <laughs> hey Robbie. Uh, so you would cut it in half, and you need a utility knife. This is these are my um, cooking in the camper knives. These are the nylon ones at the lake house. I have the fancy ones. I, I think I need to bring them all here. I think I bring, need to bring my fancy ones here. Okay. This might even be too much. I think it might be too much. I'm going to cut it back. It's only one little avocado. <laughs> one little avocado. And if you haven't seen my tips on how to pick the ripe, the best avocado, go back and look at Taco Queen or join my Facebook page and that's Spicy Life Society. Okay. It's going to be spicy. I like, I like my salsa spicy. I like all my food spicy. I want to know, do you like it spicy or mild? Comment and tell me what you like. Okay. We put the garlic the cilantro a big old hunk of hunk of jalapeno now i think i'm doing it right some uh let me see let me see avocado what do i want to put in yeah i'm going to do the avocado now and then you add the limes look 
this line, you like it mild? Ah, Michelle likes it medium. Dixie, how do you like it? Spicy joy, yay. So, <laughs> spice of course. More spice, more better. I have this line. This line has been used for So, oh, and this is sweet. This is a sweet lime. Mm, mm, mm. Not, not bitter at all. <laughs> if you don't have lime and you're part of my um, oil family that has the right oils, you can also use lime essential oil. Just for kicks, I'm going to do ooh, one drop. But I'm going to use some fresh, too. Fresh. Need some fresh. But I'm going to wait to get my avocado in there. Hope it's not too ripe. <laughs> hey, Jason. All right, here we go. We used to have in PC this avocado scooper. Man. I wish we still had that. All right, here's a... I'm hoping... <laughs> I know the vitality oils are amazing. All right. Here we go. Here's how you get the, the seed out. You go chop, twist. I did it. And spicy guacamole and then clear up. Amen, girlfriend Joanne. I love that. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so this one is, thank goodness I'm using this now because it is on the verge of being too ripe. So I'm going to cut it up like that. Where's my spoon? Oh, there it is. Mmm, guacamole. Only thing is, I mean, it's good fats, good fats. It's what you eat it with. So you can eat the tortilla chips, you know, once in a while. I might have to, I mean, you know, if you were here on Sunday, I made chorizo 80-20 hamburgers for National Hamburger Day with provolone cheese. <laughs> Lordy, lordy. <laughs> and I ate another one today. There was so much grease came out of it. So I'm not going to be eating these with tortilla chips. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, goodness. There we go. Oh, God. I just love, I love this avocado flavor. Thank you for joining in, everybody. Jennifer Sawyer, we're making something that you can take to a summer potluck. And, <laughs> so glad you're here, everybody. And I'm going to show you the perfect tool to take to your potlucks. Okay, we got the cilantro the avocado national avocado day uh i did a shallot um you can use a green onion you can use um red onion i'm going a little less oniony a little less oniony <laughs> i know joanne they've been here yep storms have been here okay I love this. I don't. Maybe mom and dad left this at my house at the lake. This line is so sweet. Hey, Brenda. Brenda! Happy National Avocado Day! Monique, National Avocado Day! I absolutely love all of these food holidays. Do you know why? Because 
it gives me inspiration on what to cook. So it's like, uh, how many of us are like, I don't know what to cook for dinner. I don't know what to cook for dinner. Well, you can look up food holidays and it will give you some ideas like, oh, let's have pineapple and pork day. I mean, it's very fun. It's very fun to do it and plan it that way. <laughs> oh, no, love you. Hey, Peggy. National Avocado Day. <laughs> okay. So, Nash, the, <laughs> I was going to say, the National Manual Food Processor. No, it's not that. It's just fancy. It should be. It should have its own holiday. This tool is so cool. All right. So here we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? All right. I'm going to make it. This is so simple and easy and quick when you have this manual food processor. I, I forgot how much it is. Whatever it is, it's worth it. I think it's in the 50s. I've had it for years. This is going to be so good. Is it creamy already? Yeah. Um, so with one avocado, it, it looks very like a little slim. It's a little slim. Because Johnny Angel don't like it. I can't believe you don't like it, Johnny Angel. But he don't. So I don't even have to do it much. It's only one avocado, right? Oh, I didn't add the salt. I'm going to add the salt in a minute. Let me give it a taste. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. What the hell is that? Oh, my hand is a Betsy. <laughs> Do you know? You know that little seed? <laughs> I showed it in the videos earlier today. Oh, I'm glad I used the shallot. The shell is a little old too, so it has plenty of onion flavor. Good gravy in the morning. It's like, what the hell is that? It's the seed. And it's at the end of the avocado that ended up in here. So here's what we say in PC. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be pampered. All right, so this has <laughs> I'm puckering because plenty of jalapeno and um, another shallot and there's plenty of garlic in here. All right, mm. all right, I'm not going to lick it. I also like tomatoes in mine and have this other cool tool. You know how I love to share my tools. I'm going to do, this is called, not the cookie monster, <laughs> not the cookie monster, it's the quick slicer. Hey Helen. Oh, my heavens, so Betsy. This is so amazing. And cook and slicing things quick. God, I'm already loving this guacamole. I'm sorry. Mm. Look at this. Quick slicer. See how this um, is flexible? You know, at the grocery store, they have the big... Hey, hey, Diane. They have the big, thick chicken breasts. It's like way too much. And we're a family of two. It's like, golly. And you want to cook all your chicken at the same time. <laughs> Good. Be hungry. <laughs> Come over and eat, Joanne. This is also perfect for putting those ginormous chicken breasts in here. Put it right in there. Now you got two. So, but it's also good 
for these little tomatoes. Mm. Mm -mm. I've already washed these. Just put a bunch in here. And I'm going to make this a little more tomatoey. Actually, I snack on these all day. <laughs> mm. Aw, next time, Joy, next time. So look, oh my God, I'm going to fill it up. Mm, 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 so good. I hope I don't spill them. Okay, look. You got a whole bunch of these. All you have to do with this quick slicer, and it's flexible, it feels like, oh God, am I going to mash it? Am I going to mash them? No, you're not going to mash them with the quick slicer. Uh, here's another one of my nine line knives. This is what I keep in the camper. Big. Here we go. Can you see? Can you see? Let me see. Oh, here we go. Look. Ta-da. Cut in half. That quick. That quick. That quick. Yum. Oh. I mean, it's not cold beans. And just imagine if you had a bunch of chicken breasts. <laughs> mm, God, these are so sweet. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Quick slicer. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So, I, I added, I love tomatoes. Johnny Angel loves tomatoes. It's tomato season. You know? Okay. And add a little salt. Let me see if it's got enough. Mmm. It's good. It's good, y'all. <laughs> it's good. I'm going to add some salt. I'm a salty dog, so I do not have high blood pressure. I've been to all kinds of doctor's appointments. Gonna get teeth next. I already had the boobs and the down there, and I've never had the hining test. I need to do that, but that's coming. I digress. All right, let's see. Mm, mm, mm. I think it needs a little more freshness. My lime was so depleted. Let me see if I can get any more lime. More lime. Ah, just a little more lime. Hey, grass. <laughs> Thanks for sharing my post earlier today about avocados. Okay, more fresh lime. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, stir it up again. I want the fresh. I love the fresh, fresh, fresh. All right, let's see. Here's what it looks like. Oh, good gravy. Mmm. 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 I love fresh citrus in my salsa. And I have, I like, I'm not going to tell you my, my salsa secrets. Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> Tastes so good. All right. So you've made this fabulous guacamole. And it's hot as Hades outside like it was today. Hey, Brenda. And you're like, oh, how do I take this to a potluck? Because most people, not everybody, likes guacamole. This is so simple, right? I just showed you how simple it is to make. Well, 
<coughs> we have this cool summer new tool that's called the cool and surf the cool and surf do you know why it's called the cool and surf well two reasons it's super cool and the second reason is you can take this to a potluck y'all and it will stay cold during your potluck and here let me show you <laughs> hey barbara heron the cool and serve has this this goes in the freezer it's cold 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 you pull it out of the freezer put it in your oh god did it put it on the right side it's okay you put that cold cold thing in there the insert keep it in the freezer all the time hey crystal you put your guacamole whatever that it is that you're taking to a potluck we have a bigger one let's say you're taking um potato salad huh you know when you anything you're going to mayonnaise in you better make sure you're keeping it cold so we have um a, a two quart size but this is perfect for the guacamole you got your cold insert you put your guac in here and then this tight lid and when you show up at your potluck you are a shining star you don't have to worry if it's gonna go bad just saying it's very very important hey claire there have been i've read stories where um there's potluck for team ball team players and a bunch of them get sick have the right tools have the right tools and you know where to get the right tools and look like you know who god's country that's his new song which i love okay y'all it's national avocado day and i have showed you how to make easy peasy super guacamole and i just want to encourage you if you want more recipes and um kitchen inspiration i have this private group called annette spicy life society with pamper chef come on over and ask to join and i will include you it's raining here it's storming here so i'm gonna go out now but thank you so much for joining me live and i love you <laughs> I love you. I'm going back to my old sign off. Peace, love, and hot stuff, baby. Thank you for joining me, love. I'm in a different angle and gotta come around to the weird side. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Diane. Peace, love, and hot stuff, everybody. We're cooking from the camper. <laughs> Love you, love you, love you long time.